With January over, it's now another end of the month, and we are going to talk about all my pickups that I had for the month of January. So let's not waste any time, and let's get into what I picked up in the month of January. All right, so let's start off with all the films that I got that did not have slips. So this will be some 4Ks, Blu-rays, and DVDs. So first starting off, I was on my trip in Kentucky, and I found Take Me Home Tonight at Dollar Tree. I found House at the End of the Street, Jennifer Lawrence. I haven't watched this film in a while. A film that's not that great, but for $1.25, Shark Night. I remember watching this in theaters. I think it failed from what I remember. And then my last DVD, I actually picked this up at my local Dollar Tree by my house. I only had one copy, Oculus. I haven't watched this film in a while. So I'm interested to check it back out again. And then two 4Ks that I picked up that had no slips. This was a re-release. I had this on DVD, so it's an upgrade from DVD to 4K. That is Ouija. I know a lot of people don't like this film. And then I also finally pulled the trigger on this film. I watched this on HBO Max, I want to say like six months ago. And it's been on sale for a while. It was like $9.99 for a while. And this week it was $11.99. That's Ex Machina. A24 film. Got Oscar Isaac in it. I think it's Alicia Vikander. Yep. And then all the Blu-rays that I got that had no slips. We have the Final Destination Collection. All five films. Got this at Walmart. $16. Not a bad price. And then I haven't watched these films in a while. We got the Ted Collection. Ted 1 and 2. I love the second one mainly because Amanda Seyfried's in it. I love collecting any movie that she's in. Love Mark Wahlberg. Thunder Buddies for Life. And then I ended up getting this all because of Anya Taylor-Joy. The Menu. It's a shame there's no slip for this, but it is what it is. And then the last film that I got with no slip, this was for $7.50 at Walmart. I hadn't seen this at Walmart before, but we have 10 Things I Hate About You. Gotta love uh, Heath Ledger in this. Julia Stiles, they do a great job in this film. Now we'll get into everything that I had that had slips, and then I got a couple steel books as well, so we'll show those off as well. First up, we have Violent Night. Now, I did see that they are making a second one of this. I like this a lot more than my wife did. I think it was just the humor. And then I picked up this for $11.99, the Silent Night, Deadly Night collection. I'm not going to lie. These films aren't that great, but it's good to have some Christmas horror, mainly because there's not that much that I own. So something to have. And then I really liked this movie. I didn't even get a chance to see it in theaters, but Emily the Criminal... Love Aubrey Plaza. This was like $12, so not a bad deal for a new Blu-ray. And then a lot of people hated this film, and I was one of the few that liked it, but Pray for the Devil on 4K. I don't know, just something about the story that I liked about it. I, I understand it's generic. And then this film, it's not the greatest. I haven't watched the second one, mainly because they changed all the characters, so I have no interest to watch the second one, but that's R.I.P.D. I like Ryan Reynolds. I like Jeff Bridges, so I picked it up. And then I finally got some Disney slips. I found this one in Kentucky. Got Frozen 2. So that's an upgrade from DVD to 4K. I always take that. And then the other day, here in my hometown, I finally found Frozen with a slip. So I'll gladly take that. It was the last copy of it. And then I surprisingly found this one at Target. This Target that I visited, they had a lot of releases. It's other stuff that I haven't seen in a while. It's probably one of the more Targets that has quite a bit of actual releases compared to other ones they just have like one shelf and this one surprised me but they had space jam the original i love the original screw the second one the remake that one's horrible it's all about jordan 
And then we got two steel books. I caved on getting this steel book, Black Adam. My son really loved this movie, and I was like, whatever. I picked, I'll pick it up. I even picked up a shirt, and I like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, so I picked it up. And then my final pickup, this steel book looked really nice. Again, it's another Lionsgate steel book. Never seen it, but it looks really nice, and it looks like it's up my alley. That's the Highlander steel book. So those are all my pickups for the month of January. Let me know in the comments, what did you guys pick up this month and what are you guys targeting in the month of February? I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't plan to have any type of haul here in February like this. I know I've said that before, but there really isn't much coming out. So we'll see if there's anything that I missed. Maybe I'll pick up a few things here and there, but I don't plan to pick up too much this month coming up, but we will see. But thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys on my next video.